Hey, what's going on? It's Doug Cunnington here from Niche Side Project and the channel that you're watching now. And in this video, I'm going to show you KW Finder and I'm going to use it to find keyword golden ratio terms. They have a few extremely nice features that just makes it a little bit easier. Just a quick note, if you are unfamiliar with the keyword golden ratio, I'll put a link in the description so you can get a little bit more information on that. But basically it is a way to find keywords that will rank more quickly in Google and it's a data-driven way to find these keywords. So let's get to the demo with KW Finder and quick note, I am an affiliate. So if you sign up to KW Finder, I think you're gonna like it number one but I also get a commission and I appreciate it if you do use my link. Let's get to it. This is the default view, sort of the starting view here for KW Finder. And I'm just gonna use the suggestions section here. I've selected the US as my target, uh, any language, but I'm sure I could pick English. I'll just stick with this for now. This is what do I need to brew beer? Something that hits close to home for me and it's going to give us a bunch of suggestions. So quick note on what we see here, we have um, a couple tabs up here that we can select different ways to uh, sort of look at the search results. And we're looking for KGR terms, so keyword golden ratio. Um, so there's a couple things we're gonna do using filters, and I will explain some of the other stuff we see here. On your left side here, we have the different terms that come up. So that's just a list of terms. You have the trend. So you can see over the last 12 months what the trend looks like. We have the search volume, the CPC, which we don't really care about, the PPC, which we don't really care about either. And then the KD, and that is the keyword difficulty. And it's based on the link profile and the URLs ranking on the first page of the search results. And that's gonna come into play later. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. For each one of the terms here, there's a competition analysis section here, very valuable. We have data from different tools like Moz. So we have uh, the DA, the domain authority PA, that is the page authority. Uh, these two next metrics uh, are from Majestic. So that is citation flow and trust flow and the number of links. Facebook shares LPS, which means the link profile strength. So that is some value as well. All right, so keep that in mind. And then the EV, which is the estimated visitors per month based on the position of that search engine result page, SERP. Let's get into the filter. All right, so this is the information that we have here. So let's filter so that we can, you know, find some, you know, more interesting data and sift through the 637. So I'm going to put a, a maximum search volume of 250. So that'll just reduce the number of uh, results that we see here. Let's just see what, what comes up there. So I'll say set filter and it got rid of 100 of them. So we're still looking at 537, which is kind of a lot. And you can see the search volumes are all less than 250 now. The KD value is calculated for some terms, but not all of them. One thing we can do is just click and it'll check for us. So we can see this is an 11. So homebrewing equipment list. So we'll, let's check a couple of them. So number one, what do I need to brew beer? And what you would do at this point, so you we see the results, we see it's a 26, which seems fine to check. Um, so you could copy the keyword right here super easy. Then we'll go over to another tab, type in all in title. What do I need to brew beer, which I've already done. Um, and we see 11 results. You can go to a spreadsheet um, or however you want. If you want to calculate in your head, you do whatever you want, or you could use my spreadsheet. All you have to do is follow the link and make a copy. All right. That's the key. You have to make a copy of this. I can't let you edit the master copy. So we could see I pulled this data, you know, sometime in the past, but in this case, um, we have the search volume said 49. Okay. And then we have 11 all in title results. And then that gives us a KGR value of 0.224. We're looking um, for anything under 0.25. This is under 0.25. So that's a good one, even though these values changed. And for the people that have um, you know, paid attention to the spreadsheet, to the keyword golden ratio, 
values change over time. Um, more people could be in, in, uh, in competition with you. The search volumes vary and that sort of thing. Now, before we go on, I'm going to have a quick look at this other one where it's a, a KD value of 11. So the search volume is 40 in its home brewing equipment list. So remember, you can click the copy keyword, save you a little time there. And then we're just going to hop over to the same window and then you can hit return and I see 33 results. Okay, so 33 and then the search volume was 40. So that actually doesn't fit the keyword golden ratio so well um, as we see here and I could just fill that in. So 33 and 40 and you see the value is closer to one. So that actually doesn't fit in. The other cool thing with the spreadsheet is it actually fills in the all in title for you. So you can just click that and it will automatically do it. So it's a little bit faster than copying and pasting. So that is my demo for now. If you wanna see more demos with KW Finder, let me know. There's uh, actually, I didn't even show you my best way to find keywords on this. So if you want to see that video, please leave a comment. Um, I think it's one of the best ways to find KGR keywords and it's using the, the tools that they put together over here at KW Finder. All right, thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next one.